Hello everyone and welcome to the 11th episode of Asin Talks and the first episode of 2023. My name is Ajit Panikar and I am an Asin member for almost a decade and I lead Nova, an air conditioning company and Pure Blue, a tech enabled startup in the air conditioning domain. And as usual, my co-host is Aleem. How are you doing, Aleem? Happy New Year to good you. Good morning, Ajit. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to all our viewers. And uh, good morning. My name is Aleem. I lead a company called Synapse. We're a creative company. And we're very happy to have you on our 11th show today. Awesome. Too good. So if any of you are joining us and wondering what Ascent is all about, Ascent is a not-for-profit expression of Harsh Mariwala, chairman Marico Limited and his passion to identify high potential growth stage entrepreneurs and enable them to grow their enterprise and enrich their entrepreneurial journey. Launched in 2012, Ascent Today empowers more than 850 entrepreneurs across India. Ascent is designed as a unique, powerful, peer-to-peer -peer platform that leverages the power of the collective through self-facilitated groups called trust groups which enables entrepreneurs to share and exchange experiences, ideas, insights, and create a healthy ecosystem to learn from each other. Uh, today's event, like all events done on Friday at 11 o'clock, Asin Talks showcases Asin members' stories and their interesting entrepreneurial journeys. So Ali, let's invite our guest today who's joining us from the holy city of Varanasi. Time later. <laughs> Go ahead. Hi. Yes. Hi, guys. Good morning. Namaste. Hi, Bhagiri. So don't Hi, go by the Bhuli Bhala face or Bola Bhala face of Bhagira <laughs> Jalan, okay? Because he is the managing director of Jalan Retail. He's completed his graduation from Cardiff University, UK. He then did a course on leadership from London Cardiff University, UK. He then did a course on leadership from London School of Economics. And after completing all his studies, he worked in Future Group under the guidance of Mr. Dabudar Mal for a year as a senior executive. He learned retailing trades from the retail guru, uh, Shri S.C. Mishraji. Uh, Mr. Keshore Biani is a source of inspiration from him. And after gaining the work experience, uh, he joined his family business of wholesaling and retailing of fabric and garments. And after joining the business, he successfully took charge of retail and opened new stores and converted existing specialty stores into department stores by introducing a new by introducing new categories. In July 2014, he entered into the segment of supermarkets, a complete range of FMCG and grocery products, which he has obtained. Uh, a successful start and become a new feather in the cap of the Jalans. In 2016, Jalan also expanded outside Varanasi and opened a store in Pragyaraj, which is running successfully. In 2017, Jalan opened two hypermarkets in Jaunpur and Azamgarh, respectively, which have become the market leaders. In 2022, Jalan opened one hypermarket in Ghazipur, which is again another success. Currently, Jalan has seven stores in five districts of Eastern UP, UP and currently is successfully heading the retail outlets of this group. Baap re baap. Itna sara. Alim, Alim, one second. Tell me something. All those names you said, John Poor, Azam, Gar. have you ever heard it before? I know, I don't I've heard it. I've heard it, <laughs> <laughs> heard it only in Mirzapur. Mirzapur. Yeah, yeah. I, I was going to say that. You must have heard Mirzapur. We should come up with more web series, actually. <laughs> John <Jodhpur>. Poor. <So>, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> J-O-H-N-P-A-U-R, John Boer. Anyway, uh, so uh, Bhagirat, tell us about your business, the nature, the scale, some clients and solutions to understand what you do better. Yeah, so uh, I am a third generation entrepreneur. So my gra uh, late grandfather, Shri Dindayalji Jalan, he moved to Varanasi in 1970s and he started uh, wholesaling of fabrics. And then uh, my father and my uncles, they joined business and they expanded the business. And uh, my father played a very important role in it. He went to Harrods. He went to uh, London in uh, late 1980s. 
and he went to the famous store Harrods, and there he saw uh, the whole computerization thing and all. And he he brought that in back in 1991 in our business, which changed our business completely. And in 99, our we started retailing, and now uh, after family partition, me and my father we look after the entire entire retail operations. So as you mentioned, like currently we have seven stores in five districts. It's a hypermarket model. Uh, we sell from like aloo piyaz se lekar ke we sell sanitary ware tak hum log bechte hain. Matlab more around seventy categories we sell through our uh, stores. And uh, the size of the stores are very different. The biggest store is forty two thousand square feet. The smallest store is seven thousand square feet. But in total. We uh, have more than one hundred and four, one lakh forty thousand square feet of retail space. Most of it is owned by our company, and uh, so that's our motto. Like uh, retailing is the future that we see for our business. And my uncles now look after the wholesale business. In wholesale, also we are one of the leading uh, uh, garment and fabric uh, wholesalers in the country. So this is a kind of little background of our of my company. Okay, Bagrat, you've just gone live and you've already got fan following happening. You got people saying that I want to get in touch with you. Varanasi is rock star. Prime Minister ka constituency hai. Anybody from Varanasi, we want to connect with. <laughs> um, so, my boss in Future Group, Mr. Damodar Mal, he used to say that no publicity is bad publicity. So because of Modi ji, we get good. Publicity all around <laughs> these days. And forty-two thousand square feet is like half of Bombay, yeah. But 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 yeah, Bagir, tell us something. You know, you know, you you are you 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 you've learned abroad. You've seen the world. You're third generation into the business. <clears throat> E-commerce is what's caught up, right? Online business. And and uh, it's always being said that you know the tier two, tier three cities are going to go through a defrog, and they're going to get onto the e-commerce platform much faster and much earlier because they would never had access to a lot of the stuff. So, how do you see these growth opportunities uh, coming around in this um, uh, yeah. in this industry in the whole retail segment, especially in small towns uh, or small cities uh, like the one which you're from, which are the upcoming cities. So, do you really think the retail has got that growth opportunities, or is it just online? How is it going to be? Let give us a little feel of how do you look at it. Yeah. So uh, there's a famous saying by Amitabh Bachchan. एक बार उनको एक इवेंट में पीछे बिठा दिया था. तो उनको बोला कि आपको बुरा लगा कि आपको पीछे बिठाया. तो उन्होंने बोला कि नहीं. मेरे पिताजी बोलते थे कि मुझे पीछे ही बिठाना क्यों कहीं भी क्योंकि फिर कोई उठाएगा तो आगे ही बिठाएगा. तो अभी क्या है कि second और third generation ये जो second और third tier cities है ना अभी इनका ग्रोथ का अपॉर्चुनिटी काफी है व्हाट आई फील बिकॉज़ आई आई इन बॉम्बे आल्सो आल्सो स्टडीड अब्रॉड एंड आई सी कि बाकी मेट्रो सिटीज कहीं ना कहीं बहुत ज्यादा सैचुरेटेड हो गए हैं बट इफ वी टॉक अबाउट बी सिटीज लाइक वाराणसी एंड सिटीज विच आई वॉज मैंशनिंग जौनपुर गाजीपुर ऑल दीज आर डेवलपिंग अ लॉट एंड इफ यू सी द लेटेस्ट लाइक वी ऑलवेज से फिगर स्पीक्स लाउडर देन वर्ड्स सो यूपी बिहार कलेक्टिवली हैज अ population of 35 crores in 2021 which is more than america now so only china and wow. up bihar collectively has more population only india and china has more population than that so uh, because of the population and aspiration level of uh, people living in these cities and uh, uh, income level increasing the infrastructure improving i see a very bright future for retail industry service industry as a whole i feel will grow uh in like double digits uh, for at least next two decades in these cities and talking about online definitely like uh, i uh, see top 10 retailers of the world every year <clears throat> uh, in the forbes list and uh, earlier there was not a single online retailer present there five years back but now there are two so definitely uh it is a growing sector but uh, in india still i feel it's a long way to go companies are not making money in this and uh, being a regional player having my own capital into it i will definitely not vouch for it currently but it is a growing segment we have to look for it in the future but currently we are more focused on brick and mortar we have an online portal but we don't focus much on it 
and we don't give cash on delivery because around 25% of the goods are returned and which leads to losses so we don't want to make losses so uh, we are looking uh, it as an opportunity but not in the near future so so bagira to, to adapt to such a dynamic industry what kind of changes what is it what is it the us what is the usp of your stores what kind of marketing stuff do you do to kind of get these uh, things i i want i'm curious to know because i am from some part of this industry so i'm very curious to know how these uh, like you said these two tier cities are working yeah so uh, talking about uh, jalans uh, our company uh, we have two usps first we try to sell cheaper than the market we operate on very low margins we believe in stro- uh, uh, good stock rotations like in uh, perils you won't believe that uh, in department store format we do 10 rotations in a year if you talk to a national chain they do two to three rotations maybe four rotations so that is one of our strengths and in supermarket we do around 18 rotations so first is we sell try to sell at cheaper prices than our competitors second we have <clears throat> uh, all the categories present under one roof if a customer comes uh, to our store uh, as i mentioned that from alu pyaaj se lekar ke they will get till sanitary wear like they can also like my daughter when we started uh, sanitary wear my daughter uh, when she went uh, visited one of our stores so daud ke usne wo section mein ho gayi fir bolti hai papa aap commode bhi bechne lag gaye so that kind of fascination uh, customers also get when they see such huge variety of categories under one roof amazing yeah too good but uh, tell me something bagirath you are third generation into the business and uh, <clears throat> you you are completely clued on into the industry to the market you worked in urban cities studied abroad and we are going back as a third generation entrepreneur <clears throat> and you want to bring about changes out there right and no way that's easy we all know <laughs> we are in business when you are in family business is nowhere in easy nowhere is going to be easy how do you handle that yaar yeah? i mean your grandfather has built a business he's and your father has taken it to the next level it's a well known name and you know how small cities are you know uh, when when you built a business you are known literally ghar ghar ka naam hota hai and then now suddenly you want to change it and bring about all those things to you know looking at uh, 10 years from now share with us what are the difficulties that you find in transforming a business as a third generation entrepreneur yeah so first uh, one and a half two years were a little difficult because uh, like my father is a very open minded person so uh, he was always ready to accept any change what i wanted to bring but uh, my grandfather was not an easy person to convince and uh, earlier it was a specialty store uh, fabrics and garments store we were only selling uh, kapda nothing else and i wanted to inter- and now i am saying we are selling 70 categories so that was the most difficult part so my grandfather was saying ki kuch hum jo jo hamara expertise nahi hai usme hamari bejati ho jayegi agar hum log usko chalu karenge to if you are not able to do it in a right way to jo already hai wo bhi kharab ho jayega so i convinced him i said ki we will start with uh, watches and he he is very fond of tata group so titan as a company i started with that and i said ki chalo tata group se to hum log kar sakte hain na start and then we started that it was a success then i slowly convinced him ki we should sell footwear because kapde mein to aap jitna bhi range hai hum sara rakhte hi hain but everyone who is coming to our store is wearing footwear so if we sell footwear also from the same outlet we'll get additional sales and it will not reduce our sale in any way of foot, uh, of apparel also like this we st- slowly started adding categories after three four categories he was so happy that he said now whatever you want to add you uh, add you don't ask ja beta ji le apni zindagi kar le types yes as i say ki uh, uh, money talks wo commode bech lag gaya bolo to tujhe jo karna hai karne ka <laughs> so so bagira that's a very simple policy jo mere customer ke walk in hai na usko kya kya zarurat hai sab rakho yaar <laughs> amazing that reminds me of this uh, you know this very nice book called ceo factory i don't know how many of you have read it but iske andar it's the uh, hul ka uh, ceo speaking in that book and he says uh, his wife was asked in a party that does your husband still sell soaps so he said jab tak log na rahe 
tap tak i sell soaps that's exactly how it is but you know bagila you know we we hear a lot of stuff uh, happening in up a uh, lot of transformational stuff of course for us all here say ads sometimes you feel this is more like a campaign uh, you know is it uh, is it got to do more political but in reality but you are you are at ground zero you live there you've been there for so many years for all our viewers and for all of us is up going through a transition do you see uh, a state that is going to actually be a game changer under this leadership and how do you see that and what are the big changes or is it just all marketing political in nature no definitely it's not only marketing because see as i told you uh, we have opened stores near, in nearby districts and i am telling you 5 5 6 years back if we would have opened these stores wahan pe pahunchne tak mai hamari kamar mein dard hone lagta tha itni roads kharab thi up ki there were all single lanes roads trucks coming from uh, in uh, from the front area and all like it was so dangerous these roads but now uh, these are all six lane eight lanes roads and currently the purvanchal expressway the road is so good it is as good as any european standard road and we reach lucknow in 4 hours now and all my stores i can visit in one and a half hours and come back also same day it's so easy as an entrepreneur i feel so blessed that at this point of the time i feel it is the perfect time to expand because the infrastructure is so good there is a positive vibe uh, vibes all around and i think to feel good is very important in order to if a, a sector to grow a business to grow a city to grow so i think it's uh, okay. going very well right now it's not only marketing and there is a saying that uh, justice should not only be given it should appear to be given so uh, development is happening but it people should know also that the de- development is happening so the marketing part is also good i feel it's good we can't be from you know, to pkc in one and a half <laughs> i know but you know ali <laughs> ali you know i was always you know to one of my mentors when i was talking about and he used to tell me that he's saying listen your next competitor or disruptor is not going to come from your neighborhood it's going to come from a smaller town and this is exactly what he's saying you know it's that your next big guys are going to come from there so this is awesome too good yeah i agree i tell my daughter the same thing that your competition is not coming from your peers it's coming from who you're not watching at this point of time so be aware and work harder because those guys are more determined to get that done okay okay uh bagirat can you tell us uh, what challenges you have faced i mean this sounds like a nice story but what are the challenges you face uh you know and what is it that this industry brings in terms of roadblocks yeah so the biggest challenge i think there are three challenges that i face uh, first uh, first challenge is uh, challenge we have kind of overcome uh, was to find the right partners to expand the categories because all the 70 categories that we deal we are not uh, buying everything directly like we are we have partnered with the experts in the particular categories and that was a win win for everyone and uh, second challenge was uh, like earlier we were a single uh, uh, single city operation now uh, it's a multiple city operation and it's not easy as uh, because uh, we are not present at the time of opening of the store closing of store some some amount of uh, inefficiency has also come up in the company some amount of corruption has also entered but i know it is part of the game but uh, uh the biggest challenge is to keep motivating all our people like uh, when we were having only one and two stores i used to meet my uh, team on a regular basis i used to know everyone by name but now sometimes uh, i don't meet them so often and still you know uh, to keep motivating them keep working uh, so that they keep working hard like this it, so i think the biggest challenge is to uh, maintain their motivation level and also maintain the control mechanism in the company while growing the business uh, achieving our targets and the last uh, challenge is uh, the co- in retail the biggest challenge is that your competitors can copy you very easily because they can enter your store any time they want to it's not like a factory that they have to pass through someone and uh, so we have to like being the pioneer and market leader biggest retailer in eastern up we always feel that competition because everyone is copying us looking up to us so that's a challenge 
but uh, we as you said it's a very enterprising sector we we enjoy a lot it it has been like 14 years since i have joined my business family business and it feels like it's just 14 months that i have joined the business wow wow ये सिंधु को पेटीएम कर दिया लगता है आज थैंक यू फॉर योर कमेंट सिंधु वेरी गुड फॉलोअर सो बागे टेल अस टेल अस अबाउट योर एसन जर्नी आई मीन यू बीन एन एसन मेंबर एंड व्हाट्स योर एसन जर्नी या सो आई विल टेल यू फ्रॉम द स्टार्ट माय कंसलटेंट मिस्टर एस सी मिश्रा ही इज वेरी फॉन्ड ऑफ मिस्टर हर्ष मारीवाला सो ही टोल्ड मी द बिफोर द बुक केम उसके पहले ही उन्होंने मुझे स्टोरी बताया था कि एक हीरो है अपना हिंदुस्तान में हर्ष मारीवाला जिसने जो कि हिंदुस्तान लिवर जिसका ब्रांड खरीदना चाहता था उसने बाद में वही ब्रांड खरीदा तो ही वॉज फैसिनेटेड अबाउट दैट एंड आई लिसन टू मिस्टर मारीवाला बैक इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन आई थिंक वन ऑफ द रिटेल फोरम्स दे आर ही वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट एसेंट सो दैट डे ओनली आई अप्लाइड टू इट बट दैट टाइम दे वर ओनली हैविंग i think mumbai chapter so uh, i could not enroll in it and in 2020 ascent contacted me so i joined immediately because i really respect mr mishra a lot he is my mentor and uh, he strongly suggested ki anything related to mr mari wala you should join it it will be good only wow. and uh, uh, i can vouch for it now after being a member for two and a half years now that it's a fantastic uh, organization and i am learning a lot from it and i have a fantastic trust group uh, and since it's the first all india chapter i have members from hubli indore kolkata delhi mumbai from all the cities so it's fun wow. amazing yeah too good <clears throat> yeah and in fact you are the first member from varanasi right yeah yes that's amazing yeah i mean i think when we all realized that we have a member from varanasi we were all excited well like, yeah this is too good man this <laughs> fantastic and you won't believe i have given you a member from mirzapur as well now <laughs> oh, <wow>. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah all these guys are now coming in too good man <laughs> i hope he doesn't deal in guns or something like that <laughs> that is so biased that's very bad of me <laughs> don't believe in that <laughs> <laughs> so uh bagira i'm not going to ask you about your personal hobbies because we normally do but i know because when i googled your picture for, uh, to put up for the promo i saw that bagira the singer so we are <laughs> going to trouble you today we are going to ask you for our viewers for the first time we're going to have ascent talks with ajit and alif and bagira which is a musical today so come yeah, on so go for it song. man so one song <laughs> so so ali and me are going to mute and the uh, yes. show is all yours and let's show to the whole world that we are not just guys who will build businesses and make money but we also have an artistic side to ourselves so over to you bagirath go for it uh, guys uh, <clears throat> no excuse but today i have a bad throat so bear with me and uh, uh, so i'll sing a song which is very dear to me <clears throat> life is given just it's uh, like you should enjoy the life you get only one life तो पूरा एंजॉय करना चाहिए उसे हमको मिली है आज ये घड़िया नसीब से हमको मिली है आज ये घड़िया नसीब से जी भर के देख लीजिए हमको करीब से फिर आपके नसीब में ये रात हो न हो शायद फिर से जन्म मुलाकात हो न हो लग जा गले के फिर ये हसी रात हो न हो शायद फिर से जन्म 
मुलाकात हो न हो लग जागले से थैंक यू गाइस amazing good absolutely fantastic so tell us a little bit about your singing singing career as such i mean how did all you discover this and did you get professional how do you take time out to do all this from your regular day to day work or is it because you are in varanasi you have time on hand let me tell you one so that if anybody is watching this show live please say something yaar i mean say something about that beautiful yeah. song that he sang and ek maan aadmi ne mujhe kaha tha ki prashansa ki teer kabhi khali nahi jati hai fresh out of varanasi fresh out of varanasi wo wo kehte tera tujhko hi arpan kar diya thank you for the talk you rajika also nice to hear from you guys बनारस में है तो यू गेट टाइम वैसे आई वॉज इन मुंबई ऑल्सो ना देन ऑल्सो आई लर्न फॉर दैट वन ईयर ऑल्सो आई वॉज लर्निंग म्यूजिक सो इट हैज बिकम एन इनएविटेबल पार्ट ऑफ माई लाइफ नाउ but i started learning when i was like 17 years old my father heard me humming our guru puji murari bapu is very fond of singing uh, music so he always encourages people around him to indulge in it and uh, so my guru ji uh, pandit channu lal ji mishra he is a padma vibhushan pandit channu lal ji mishra i learned from him for past uh, 21 years now and uh, constantly three days a week uh, i go to his place and learn from him and uh, ab jab tak guru ji hain tab tak he is 86 now so i have decided ki at least jab tak guru ji hain tab tak to continue rakhna hi hai baki and gd birla ne kaha tha it is only the busy people who can find some time so i really make sure that i keep learning it's a inevitable part of my life and i think uh, uh, mr mari wala recommended that book grit and in that uh, angela dogwood mentioned that in the extra curricular activity you are enjoying also and you are alert also at the same time so it helps you in your professional life also both personal and professional life i mean this guy is from the holy city man he is completely from the holy city you can I hear it from what i say this boy is more yaar ajit aur bhagirath kar do yaar amazing so that's it guys so uh, bhagirath uh, we just have about 2 minutes we Uh, to to our 30 minutes but trust me uh, this has been a fantastic episode Absolutely. this is the 11th week kalim and me are doing it uh, it's fully energizing i mean i think my mood itself has changed just talking to you really, really. Yeah, same here guys same here same talking to you yeah. guys you are so positive always smiling thanks same same here thank so you. thank you very much for joining us and taking time out to be with us and sharing your thoughts and being so frank and thank you for that wonderful song it's the first time that's happened here and i'm sure lots of people <laughs> will actually thank talk you. about it thank you very much bagarath we will be in touch with you thanks a lot thank you see you bye <laughs> what an awesome uh, session yes fabulous that goosebumps right. <laughs> absolutely man he's too good i've known him from the time he's actually joined and he doesn't fail to surprise you he's too good it's fabulous so guys yeah so it's time to actually wind up and we just have about a minute to go So we are at the end of the show, and what you can do is now uh, like us, follow us on that LinkedIn page, share, uh, and every Friday we'll come up with a new story at eleven eleven a.m. Like today, it'll inspire you and keep you going for the next one week. But if you believe that the next decade, like how Bagirat says, you no, know, it's all happening in India, and you want to be part of that story and the growth story, then you must visit Asin Foundation dot in. and apply for membership note uh, a disclaimer every time i say this this is not like a membership that you just pay and you get it free so asin team will get in touch with you they'll evaluate you and if you're truly growth ready then we would be happy to have you in our cohort so that's it for today and we're going to see you next friday at 11 am with an absolutely new story what do you say adim thank you very absolutely. much and we'll be forward to the next episode and please follow like share 
send us your nice comments and you know spotify is after already calling me because they're like we want to start a music <laughs> on your show so and handle this famous yeah game. <laughs> Absolutely. If you if you don't have time to watch us on that YouTube or on LinkedIn, we are also on the podcast. Go to Spotify, Amazon Music. I don't know. We've lost track of all that, but just search us. You will get us, man. And that's how it is. So great to have you all with us. Thank you so much. Do share this link with your friends, and we will see you next week. And uh, do go to asinfoundation.in. See you. Bye bye. Have a great week ahead. <laughs>